Hey guys, welcome to podcast episode 340 episode. This movie about 17 again. This movie about in 1989, 17 year old star, you Mike O'Donnell, bites out that his girlfriend, Scarlett Porter, is pregnant. Scarlett tells Mike about her privacy moments. Before his unlucky scholarship, cursing, high school, championship, basketball game, Mike plays in first few seconds of the game before walking on the court to go after Scarlett and abandon his hopes of going to college and resting a career 20 years later. 37-year-old Mike finds out his life doesn't end boring. He abandons any project is start Scarlet now Mike's wife in the middle of two children have filed to divorce. Mike moves in with his best friend Ned Gold who is wanting Nikki and also unhappy Mike has been passed over for a person person at work. He believed he deserved his person his transformation to his boss, which ends with Mike being fired after he massive his boss boot to his piece, his piece, against the wall, his high school age kids, 18-year-old Maggie and 60-year-old Alice want nothing to do with him. While driving with Mike has an encounter with an angelo on the bridge that transformed him back into his 17-year-old self. After becoming convinced to Mike's identity, Ned believe that Mike's transformation was caused by a mystical spirit guide who is trying to steer him on a butter pack. Mike evolved in high school by posing as Mark Gold. Then son, he plans go to go to go to to go to college on a basketball scholarship. As Mike befriends his own son, if he discovers that if is being buried, Mike also wants that his daughter Maggie has a boyfriend named Stan who does not respect her and focusing towards Ayers, Mike comes to believe that his mission to his to help to kiss. Do the kiss Mike spends time with Scarlet who notes his remarkable visibility to her husband but when herself it in an odd question of something to fix his membership with Scarlet. Mike begins to finish on the garden, garden project he had elevated as a adult. He does his best to separate Stan and Maggie well, arguing eyes to be more confident. Mike has technically missed his desire for Scarlet diversity, maybe his career and politics. Mike drove a party to celebrate a basketball game when it Ned's house and convinced Dan who have Devin dumped Maggie, who 
for listening to have sex with him. My gift not out the wakes up to Maggie trying to resist to him. My tells Maggie that he is loving somebody else. And Maggie leaves much to Mike leaves. Scotty arrives in the party and Mike shows her that I have finally months to get together with his club. And then to have a conversation where Mike caught up in a moment, tries to kiss Scarlett with guts, she jumps off in Mike, tries on our superiority to, to explain to his true daddy. On the day of the court hearing the realization of the divorce, Mike makes one last attempt to win Scar back as Mark by moving his both with a from Mike. After he is if Scar notices that the weather is actually divorced to address him to the courtroom. She begins to go out and postpones the, the divorce by a month. Just dreaded that he could not salvage his marriage. Mike decides to once again pursue a scholarship and move on with a new life during a half school basketball game. Mike feels to his true daddy to Scarlet and Scarlet walks away. Mike decides to sit her down, just like he did in 1989, before Trump moved back into his 37 year old self. He happily went out and Scarlet said that she is the best condition he ever made. As Mike appeals for his first day hanging a new basketball coach. And the kids in school, Ned, who has just completely started a relationship with Jane, gives him a result. You both are happy with your first start of your life. Alright, guys. This episode. Alright, that's it. Bye.